Hi, and welcome to my open stop motion film project. Last time, <clears throat> sorry, I am still have a cold and I'm drinking cough medicine like crazy, but it don't help that much. But uh, any who, how, uh, last time we made a tree and this time we are gonna make flop. Uh, whoops. We are gonna make some small flowers. As you can see, sorry for that, I need to change the sound on this one. Let's change out your source. Boom. Boom. And now it works. And you can see over here in the forest floor, you have to have some small flowers in. You can see there is a couple of them, uh, or uh, six or ten or something like that, in uh, in between the trees. But they are way too big. So, but that was in the start that. I didn't had have the scale right uh, on that on that in that time. So now we have figured out how how big they have to be. So and you know in the spring uh, there is a lot of can you see anything here? There's a lot of um, um, these white flowers in the forest floor. And uh, today we are gonna make these small blue ones. And you can see there is, uh, they are kind of blue and then they are a little white in the middle and then they are yellow in the, in the, the center, and those are we, or we are gonna need a lot of those. So, <clears throat> and you can see I have made some orange, and uh, I have made some purple ones, and I have made some yellow ones. But uh, now we <clears throat> we are gonna make some of these. And. The noise you hear in the background uh, once in a while is the compressor because we are going to airbrush uh, because we are using, oops, we are going to use, uh, use uh, the airbrush to the right in the middle. And and you can see this is very small stuff, but for newcomers, we have uh, this is about a stop motion animation I'm going to make. And about two boys in the Stone Age. And for those who have seen this before, have heard that a lot of times, but uh, New ones they don't have or haven't heard. See? But 
But as you can see on this over here, it has been a long journey. You can see down here we started, wood, started to build the studio, and uh, this is all parts from the workshop. And this is the workshop uh, where the two windows, and here is in, in where we are now, and you can see the little bird. It ca came every day and helped me. It, it was m m mid summer, so uh, it kind of uh, just walked in. I don't know why, but it did. And uh, even I was here and did thing. It didn't care. And then it walked out in the kitchen and see if there were some crumbs on the floor or table. And then it walked out again. And actually, I had really. I think it's because it's a young bird. They are not that afraid yet, so, but uh, that was kind of fun. And then the table where I built the, the scenery on, and you can see I have a ch chimney here, so I have to build around that one. And here is on the, on the floor. And here is the table up. And there is where everything is gonna, the big forest are gonna be on, or are on right now. And here's the workshop, and then <laughs> all the <laughs> transformers to the, all the, what, uh, the hard drives and whatnot, so it's a lot of stuff. And then I need some something to have the cameras on, and, uh, and that time I didn't have uh, the cameras I use now. Uh, I had, I, these were smaller, so I have old uh, lamps I painted and made this, this one up here is uh, the wood piece here is where I stick the mount is the mount for the camera on the wall and this one was on the chimney i have never used that but you know you have to start and figure something out and here's the kind of key light you have uh, so and uh, you need a, a really good light all over the place but I use uh, soft boxes and so on. But uh, you need some other light. And this is a kind of a something I built a, a kind of a wagon where you can where the camera hang in and you can, as you can see here, it's run on these uh, tubes and then uh, up in the ceiling and then this one hang in it so you can you can see it here it's up in the ceiling and then you can reach everywhere on the table and I started when I started I started making um, in real clay and this is real clay 100 kilos of real clay and this this is the um, uh, oil based clay I use now you can see the the one is broken here is a wolf. It was very difficult to make it in real clay because you had to do it in one swoop, all of it, be finished with the figure because next day you couldn't work on it again. So it was pretty, it, and it was very messy. So. And then I got a printer, 3D printer, so I could, you can build one of those. And uh, you can see the, the, uh, the, the clay, uh, and these are in real pottery clay, the, the big ones with the, with the red crosses on them. And the small one is those I have printed out on the printer, 
but the printer made a lot of noise when it stood out here like this. And so I built a box to put it in so I could uh, I could uh, work uh, and send. And then I need a, I took uh, tools out of the workshop or into the workshop all the time and uh, it would easier with a little uh, toolbox or wagon or what you would call it. I built this one and then I had so I can kind of keep it keep it uh, keep it uh, not that messy keep it clean around because it gets when you make a lot of different stuff it gets uh, really quick it gets very messy uh, <coughs> and then I had the, the black one here is the old compressor and <laughs> the first time it it had stood here in in a lot of years I have not really used it uh, for a long time and then the first time I used it it exploded so I bought, bought, bought this one a new one that works and this is the one you I had to build it around a little uh, and this, that is the one you hear and then I had to buy you know making a lot of stuff you have to buy a lot of tools to do all of those different stuff. And then here is on the table that you saw before and uh, start to cut all of this out in, in foam. So, uh, and trees and I have made hundreds of trees and um, different experiments with different things. And here you can see some of the figures too. And that big, this bear is, uh, as big as a, a big baby, so it's a very big one. Because I had to, I in uh, the story I had to shoot from up under it uh, to to get it work uh, uh, to get it very dramatic. So so you had to be build a big one and a model a big one. And so here is where we kind of are now. But as you saw, we built another tree the other day. So one thing at a time. So we'll see where could you? It's best here. Yes. Oops. I have the trash can under the table, so I'm not used to that because it's. I rearrange the cameras, but you can see there's a lot and lot and lot and lot of stuff to do. And one of the problems with it is that you now when I made these. I have to keep them until until I have to use them. So uh, I have uh, I put them in boxes because if I don't, they kind of uh, get uh, dust uh, dust on them and they don't look nice because I sand and I do everything so in here or in the workshop and the workshop. Is oops, workshop is the room just beside this room. So you kind of get dust all over the place. <coughs> Sorry. I forgot. Well, I forget the mute, mute button all the time. Bye. 
when you are just uh, one guy doing it all, then then it takes a long time. And in all that time, you have to kind of keep all of this somewhere without destroying it. So when you are, when you have to use it, then it has to be nice and clean. And by the way, if this this cannot uh, the sunlight. If there were sunlight, but there is not. But if there were, it will take it will take the colors of this uh, uh, this color paper. Yeah, the color will disappear. These are, as you can see, only needles. Maybe we should, I don't know which one of these works. It's not this one. The small stuff. Yeah. And now my hand is in the way. often say I need a cameraman. Super glue. Super glue is a good thing. So I need this one over here. <coughs> A 
than compressor is not the air. It's not tight. I need to look at it. What I have been making boat all day to kids workshop where we are making a fishing vessel like boat. So. That what we have to do tomorrow. And then I also have to figure out, I usually try to make some Christmas stuff. See if Twenty four days of December. Just to make stuff. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, it's a uh, grown up to the sound of the compressor. That was the way you, the analog way you, the analog Photoshop, you use the little airbrush to make the pictures ready for magazines and newspapers and brochures and that stuff. And my father immediately that for many years. But that time is over. Nope. Now we use Photoshop. I still love to do things by hand. What? You have to be careful not to forget how we do things or figure out how to do things. We 
are so dependent our our computers and me too but uh, we need to keep stuff like this alive I think and maybe I'm the only one So be it. Two here, oh, yes, yes. Okay. Then we will airbrush them in the top afterwards. And then we'll put one of these yellow needles through. You could use these two when you made, I don't know where, which country have which traditions, but here we make Christmas decorations with the candles and stuff like that. And uh, you could use these as And they are pretty easy to make, right? Colored cardboard and then and the green. Uh, first of all, is because the kind of the green kind of shines through, and then 
you need something to, to glue this uh, glue stuff on. I see I need to make some more of these. Side. And then <clears throat> and then the last one in this bunch, and we can airbrush. You cannot see it. It's very difficult to. That was better. I think it is also too. I know I hold my hand in front of the camera. And the last one. Ah, this was the way to do it. So. my 
the Lenovo laptop, the, there's something they call Solution Center. At, and that has not been able to run for a long time. But now it runs. Somehow. I should have uninstalled it, but... You know... This one is dry. Take one. Here. Yes. I'll ensure that it's loose. <coughs> a little and then we will oops see maybe you can see this now see the goal is to make it wide in the middle and we will do that Take some of this air rice, air rice, rice, white in German. Smart some white. Water. it thin enough so it can leave the airbrush up here. Too little room. Can you see? Yes. See? That was how you did it with photos illustration in old days. I think I made it too thin. Too thick. I 
don't know. Oops. Joe? See now they are white in the we need to clear clean this one because otherwise we cannot do anything with it afterwards. get blocked. Don't want that. Then we have to take it apart. We can do that part. And also and then some more more to do. so we don't make any bad things. 
see and now take one of these with and you see it is yellow And the yellow one is here. Oopsie. Because there are paint on the And you cannot hold hold uh, a needle like that. on of them and you can sit a whole day and ho a whole day to do it and then you can see you kind of find a routine to go much faster than this but it was also to show you how I did it. And why? Because I always find it fascinating to see when people make stuff and how they do it. Sometimes I simply has to know how things are made. Some things, especially if I can't figure out how it is. Then it keeps on nagging me until I know it. When I was a little, oops, that's when we need to be careful. When I was a little boy, the first time I saw a telly, that was, or television set, or what you, what you call it, uh, 
that was in 1953 and I was four years old and there was only one person in the block who had a tele vision said And all the kids down on the playground was was invited up to see this fantastic thing. And uh, and it was in the afternoon, and I had seen in the before noon. I have seen they had. There were some guys on the roof and they had drilled hole in the roof and put a big uh, tube in it and something kind of, uh, I don't know what it looked like, you know, it was an antenna, but uh, I thought it was a weird looking thing. And then in the afternoon we was up and seeing this fantastic thing. And I wondered how in the world are they doing that? And I kind of figured out that it, it would have something to do with the stuff they did on the roof. But uh, how it got down in the tube and into the tail, I could figure that out. <laughs> but that day I swore that I will figure out how it works one day. And I did. As an electronic technician. kind of nosy. I need to know. But I guess a lot of people don't care. They are just happy if it works. And then it's fine. grandkids and computers they just work and they don't care how it works I have wondered sometimes what will, what will they do if the power or internet went down for a longer period of time No, I will be in trouble, but uh, what will they do? See, now we have a uh, boops. There you are. Hmm? That was a lot. Well, I also think it's easier for us in that generation because we kind of have seen it all come a little at the time. My grandkids, all of it was there while, while they were born. When they were born, it all 
across here. So we tighten up. Kind of a natural thing for them hooks. But I'm glad I have been there all the way. It had been quite exciting. All of it is more nuanced in that way. Whoops, come here, thank you. <laughs> I just flattened them a little. Ah. ah. And then, see if we can find the middle, or close to one. compressor is kind of trying to hop around on the floor and then you can see start all over again more flowers and more uh, but uh, oops now I hit the mic But we have used another hours of the time, or I have, but I hope I have used this together with somebody. And uh, hope I will see you again next Monday, because then we will do something else if I can figure out something. There, there is enough to do, I guarantee you. And then tomorrow uh, we are building on the fishing boat, the cutter, and we are calling in, in this country. And uh, what else? Nothing else. So uh, I think the break, uh, the, you know, I have... Uh, I have changed it all a little, but uh, uh, oops, uh, uh, you can see here. Problem. You can see I have a stop motion, I have break, and I have stop. Uh, and the uh, kids uh, workshop and kids workshop uh, are tomorrow break we are keeping a little uh, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, we are keeping a little break with that. No, but I don't know. We are we are gonna make some some uh, stuff here in the December. So uh, I'll figure out a new t time plan because the reason we had a, such a long stop in all of this is that uh, I made uh, two a new site uh, uh, with my photos and pictures and uh, they took a lot of a lot of time there's tons of pictures in them uh, as you can see here they have pictures and pictures and pictures and and two sides and a Danish side and an English side. So that took a lot of time, but I had to do it. And uh, but now we are, I'm figuring out what uh, what to do with uh, this because we need to make this much better. But uh, I had some ideas and how and but. Uh, I'm not decided yet because it all takes a lot of time and if I stretch myself too much it's uh, it don't get better it get worse but uh, but on the other hand I I like to send every day all the days in the week uh, uh, near uh, beside uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday but Monday to Friday I like to send every day because it's, I think that's a way to do it. But how many I'll send a day if I was, before I make this break, I send three every day. I send a stop motion and a break and a kids workshop every day. That's a um, little too much, but I think I can get to, you have to think at, it's not a talk show, so I had to make uh, pre pre preparations, and I, I, it's only me. So, and a lot of what I, I don't choose things uh, uh, just to make it easier, just to get uh, clicks or just to get anything. I do things I like to do, and I hope others like to do. And if I don't, uh, uh, if they don't, it, it's. It's a shame, uh, but uh, I'll make it anyway. So I know they all say, make videos and you can speed it up. And uh, that's not how things are done. I'm an old guy, so I, I, it thinks th things take the time things take. Uh, things take. We, we, you cannot, uh, I'm against uh, the idea that you can like when you see a chef in TV, he can arrange uh, food for 12 people in 20 seconds and uh, without breaking a sweat. And we know that unreal. Uh, but we all know that. And, uh, and sometimes that is good so, and so you can get the recipe or something. But, uh, but sometimes we there's a lot of noise on the media where we just make a lot of stuff but just to make a lot of stuff to make a lot of clicks and made a lot of followers and made a lot of everything and I don't know what we need all that for but so that's my I will hop down my soapbox and <laughs> and say thanks for watching if you did and uh, see you again Monday or tomorrow if you are interested in building a fishing vessel. So bye-bye and thank you.